will not go with uh, their conveners. Uh, may nag-message sa akin from Rizal, may nag-message sa akin from Zambales, NCR, and uh, other uh, provinces, uh, even in Mindanao, that they will not join yung iba nilang conveners when, even when they decide to uh, go to another camp. Aside from that, uh, when Mosco, uh, he was uh, in a two-day swing in the Sambuaga Peninsula, he also gained some uh, support from different uh, organizations uh, such as Sambasulta Isko Kami, headed by Engineer Abu Bakar, then United Sama Bajau Association Incorporated, or USBA, chaired by Panglima Adim Ati, and the Region 9 and BARM uh, groups or chapters of the MRRD and ECC. So, contrary to uh, what others are claiming, uh, merong uma may mga umaalis, siguro sa bawat isang umaalis o dalawang umaalis, there are thousands that uh, replace them, no? And that's uh, evident when uh, Mayesco uh, went to Cebu. And also, uh, let me just note that uh, yung mga nasa Visayas also, who's uh, who helping out Mayesco, downplayed uh, when uh, Nick Malazarte left. No? Sabi nga nila, uh, to use the term uh, by uh, one of the conveners of visa, sabi nila, good riddance. Because they haven't seen Mr. Malazarte for a time. And let me also point out, and I think uh, Amba here already told, uh, I mean, said it a few days ago. I also uh, said it in an interview with uh, Tyler Radio. Because uh, yung siya sabi ni Lula, Nick Malazarte, that they want to go because natatakot sila because of Marcos' return. Uh, hindi naman po kasi yun ang uh, overarching goal ng uh, Isko Moreno campaign. Our goal is to help the Filipinos get out of uh, the, this pandemic, the crisis that we are in. That's why we've been emphasizing that we need a crisis manager like uh, Mayor Isko Moreno de Magoso, who has proven that and done that in Manila. Hindi, hindi po ito usapin ng nanaman ng Marcos at uh, Bilao. No? So, mga balik naman tayo dun sa binary na, na narrative. Hindi po ito yung tunay na usapin. Ang usapin dito, yung interes ng mamamayang Pilipino at hindi yung interes ng uh, ibang grupo o ng isang pamilya o dalawang grupo lamang. Ah, uh, yun. Thank you po. Affecting that difference? Yeah, um, Pulse Asia surveys are done through subcontractors. The field research is done by a subcontractor. Pulse Asia itself does not do the field research. They make the research design, which is the questionnaire, but the actual field work is done by a subcontractor. Okay, now number one. Number two, uh, the, the one reason why uh, online polls became more um, indicative was because during the pandemic, it was almost impossible to come up with face-to-face -face surveys because of the lockdowns and because of the quarantine uh, uh, restrictions. No? But that has continued to the, mo to, to the present, no? and uh, that, that may explain the difference. No? Uh, in previous uh, interviews, I've said also that there is the element of, uh, of uh, distrust no? when you do field, I mean, when you do face-to-face -face surveys. No? Maraming natatakot because of the prevalence of uh, bashing by online trolls. No? Uh, paid trolls who, halimbawa, 
boboto ka kay BBM o kay Junior, titirahin ka naman nung Lenny Group or something, or vice versa. Yung masyadong ano. So, the, the, the possibility na hindi reliable yung sinasagot sa mga on, uh, face-to-face surveys is, is well nigh possible. No? Uh, in fact, uh, we uh, have had reports of uh, the subcontractor of, um, of the face-to-face -face, uh, the face-to-face -face subcontractors of research companies na binebend yung, uh, yung tanong in such a way na to, to elicit a desired answer. No? So that is why we have um, been using uh, the, the um, online uh, survey rather than the face-to-face -face survey. And ito ang lumalabas nga na data. No? Na the, it's not, it's not uh, Vice President Robredo getting uh, 20s in the 20s ba? Ano yung, ne, sa, ano, sa Pulse Asia. And we are getting 8 or something. No? But rather, it's a real neck-to-neck -neck fight between the two no? uh, vis-a-vis the declining numbers, the slowly declining numbers of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Just a quick follow-up. So this contract, the reports of that you heard of con subcontractors saying that they sometimes change the question, are you saying this applies to false Asia surveys? Well, yung, uh, yun ang ginagamit na field uh, research, a uh, field uh, numerator ng, uh, ng Pulse Asia. In fact, I think uh, Ronald Holmes uh, in the February, uh, the February data research uh, admitted that they use a subcontractor to, to do the research. Ang problema mo pa dyan, yung subcontractor, nagsasubcontract pa din. No? So for instance, uh, I am the subcontractor, I am the, I am the contractor rather of Pulse Asia or SWS or whoever. Uh, pag that, may mga probinsya, lalo na yung mga island provinces na medyo malayo o medyo mahirap, sinasubcontract pa din yon. An example is, uh, for instance, uh, we found out that uh, in uh, Leyte, ang subcontractor uh, was a, uh, or the subcontractor that was utilized by this contractor, this uh, field uh, field survey contractor, uh, ang ginamit, mga empleyado ng isang city. City hall employees. I, I won't mention the, the city in Leyte. So, natural, no? kung, kung city hall employees of a, of a somebody who's favoring junior, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., pwedeng na-islant. I'm not saying conclusively na na-islant, but the possibility of the questions being slanted or skewed towards a desired answer is well nigh possible. No? For, for Tanghera, because I read a, a bit on its methodology, it seems they have a base of uh, people who respond to their questionnaires, right? So, yeah, uh, 659,000 So how do, how do they know they are not asking the same people? No, no, they, 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 they double check that, no? And uh, these are done randomly. Hindi naman the same people, no? These are... They have pe they have six hundred fifty nine thousand uh, six hundred ba uh, respondents all over the country in all the regions no all the provinces and then these are randomly selected uh, every time uh, they do a survey. every time they they do a survey so they know these are real people yeah. the, the yes people these are real the people they they have the database numbers. on these people their 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 uh, ad addresses their uh, cell phone numbers etc uh, if you will uh, take note no. In the U.S. presidential elections since 2016, where Trump defeated Clinton, and then in 2020, when Trump was defeated by uh, Biden, the results were very fast. No? And even in the key states, no? yung, mga, yung mga key states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, overnight they had results. No? Because your methodology is no longer face-to-face. Lalo na nung panahon na yon, remember 2020 was a height of the pandemic in the U.S. So ang ginagamit was uh, online uh, surveys na. No? And uh, the results were quite, uh, were quite um, accurate in the sense na pati yung numbers na panalo ni Biden, for instance, in Pennsylvania vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Trump were on the dot. No? The same thing in Georgia, I think. Uh, Georgia... 
Pennsylvania and uh, another state, Michigan. No, I, I was I was in ano kasi. That's why I noticed that myself. I was in quarantine at that time in Taiwan, so I had nothing to do except watch every hour, every every ano no the 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 CNN uh, uh, result, the CNN um, uh, coverage of the election returns and the pre-election uh, polls no. And I noticed on the dot talaga, but all of these were done online. Next question. Maris. Uh, sir, good morning. Uh, with regards to the report of subcontracting surveys, um, did you only learn about this uh, now for this specific elections, or this has been done in previous elections already? Uh, I think these were done in previous elections. No? Um, but, but, as far as I know, the, 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 what's the, the company that is now being used no, for field research or for field work is a new uh, company no, uh, from, uh, from uh, employees of previous companies which closed down or which have, have transferred the uh, business. No? So the... The problem here is if the, not necessarily the company, but the field researchers that are used no, have been influenced by a particular candidate with plenty of money. I, I do not, I am not, I'm not making an accusation right now. I'm just talking of possibilities. No. If this has been the practice in the past, um, does it uh, diminish the credibility of the survey? No, in the past, they were using um, some very reputable companies no, who did consumer research. I think TNS. Uh, in 2010, at least, I, uh, we were using, I mean, we knew that TNS, uh, I do not know if there's still in the market, but TNS was the one that was being used for field, field work by SWS and I don't know about Pulse. No. At that time, in 2010, during the Pinoy and, and we, I, I remember that we went directly to TNS with our own research uh, questionnaires. Uh, Senator Osmeña and I went directly to TNS to ask them to, to give their the, the questionnaire. We designed it ourselves. And uh, TNS was giving us very f accurate data. No, that's why we knew by um, April of 2010, uh, I remember I briefed the family of uh, the late President uh, Pinoy uh, Aquino, and I told them that one, uh, we're definitely winning this election. Two, uh, Arab will win over. So right now, um, it is is it just false, which is uh, uh, using subcontractors for their, their surveys or other survey. Uh, companies as well. It is possible. Using. It's possible that others. But I, I do not. Uh, we haven't seen a late, uh, lately as a SWS survey. No. Uh, what we've seen are commission surveys by strat base, if I'm not mistaken, of SWS. Pero yung non commissioned like the ulat ng bayan ng Palsasia. No. Uh, we haven't seen that from SWS of late. No? So, uh, but Tanghere is not uh, subcontracting. It's it's uh, really going down on the field. Yeah, uh, I think they're 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 partners with Manila Bulletin. Mm -hmm. They're partner or they are partners of Manila Bulletin, no? mm -hmm. and uh, they briefed us uh, on on this uh, at our request. They briefed us on these uh, surveys that they've done. And just for enlightenment, sir, how long has Tanghere been used as a survey? Uh, they started, 20, they started in 2018, uh, and the founder, in fact, is a TOYM uh, 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 awardee you know, for, for uh, statistical measures. Uh, they started 2018, and they were doing basically consumer research. Uh, and it's only now that they started doing political research or research on political candidacy. In other words, uh, what you're trying to say is that the the methodology uh, being used by Tangere is more 
uh, credible than what others are using. I'm not saying they're more credible. I'm just pointing out that they are quite credible. No? Uh, and they are more cost effective actually than, than field, uh, you know, face to face surveys, especially at this time of a pandemic and uh, the, the fallout of the pandemic. Yes, sir. And vis a vis the, the things that you're seeing on the ground, for example, when you go out on campaign uh, sorties, um, yung results po ba of uh, the polls uh, really reflect what you're seeing as compared to the Tangere? Yung comparison lang po yeah, the they, survey they results. Not, they, what we're seeing from polls does not reflect what we're seeing on the ground. No? The ground reception. I think. Many of you have covered our our uh, sir, I mean our, our field uh, sorties, no? and you've seen the warmth. Uh, these are very organic. No, we do not uh, we do not bring people to our to our uh, you know bring people to our rallies. In fact, we do not have big rallies for that matter, because we do not consider that to be cost effective. No, I mean it costs a lot of money, but the correlation between voting and uh, presence in uh, in uh, uh, um, uh, campaign uh, rallies where you have uh, big time entertainers no uh, does not correlate uh, on a one on one basis no so to us uh, the the numbers here are more akin to what we're seeing on the ground than uh, the 24 and but 24 and 8 or whatever and you 20, 21 and 8 uh, between uh, Vice President Lenny and Mayor Isco Moreno. PTB4? Sir, uh, good morning. Sir, kung pagpapasayahan pa rin po itong tangere, 48% si Bongbong Marcos, 24% si Mayor Isco, medyo malayo pa rin po ano. And yeah. ang election po, uh, one month na lang po, sa tingin ba natin habang papalapit yung election, kung kahit ito yung pagbasehan natin, mas ditikit pa rin po ba siya sa survey? And ano pa po yung dapat nating, dapat ninyong gawin po? Para pa tumaas pa yung numero ni Mayor Isco. Well, una, when you talk of 48, the difference between 48 and 24, let's round off the numbers, that's 24 points. So if you get 13 points additional for Mayor Isco, you defeat the 48. Now, you don't have to get 24 points, the difference. You get half of that, or more than half of that, and you, you win. So what we're saying is this is going to be a very, very close fight, assuming na walang aatras. No? Assuming na walang aatras, this is going to be very, very close. No? Uh, so it's, it's up to Mayor Isco no? to close that. 60? 60 down to 48 no? uh, from the January surveys. No? Uh, the ganon, no? so, but, but that does not necessarily mean that that, that trend will follow na ganun lang because at one point in time it could suddenly drop no this has happened in previous elections you meron parang turning point no a turning point is reached and then there is a sudden drop and there is a sudden surge on the part of another candidate no uh, we, although the, the correlation is not exact note that if you look at the the, the those who responded that uh, the family of uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. should pay their estate tax, if you try to correlate that, cross-reference it, lumalabas, one-third of his support now is really quite soft. This is probably the one-third that dinala ni Sara Duterte sa kanya by, by, by uh, being his vice presidential candidate. So if you try to get 33% or one-third of 48%, no? you can easily, you pwede mo ma-attract yung 33% of 48%. No? So that if you deduct that, you're talking of about 29% ang hardcore support ni uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. No? So it's up to the other candidates to try to bring that down to 29%. If you bring that down to 29%, you could uh, increase your numbers to higher than 29% to be able to win this particular election. Next question. Good morning, Pusek. 
Sir, uh, just want to clarify the question of Maris. Uh, with regard to, because uh, you've compared initially the methodology of uh, South Asia from Tangere, is it simply saying that it's uh, accurate ang Tatangye for this matter? Or? Uh, I, I don't want to make that uh, that assertion na definitely mas accurate ito kaysa sa doon sa false Asia. No? I'm just saying that from our point of view, no, and that is why uh, we're, we're quite confident about this, kasi quick and turn around. No? Kasi you, surveys are always a snapshot of a particular point in time. No? Pag ang survey mo, halimbawa, uh, ginawa mo ng March, middle of March, are those numbers still accurate now? We're now talking April, uh, ano ba kayo? April 8th, no? Your three weeks have, have passed. A lot of things happen in a campaign. It's a very dynamic uh, no, no? Uh, set up, no? Uh, one particular issue can bring you down. I, I recall, for instance, no, that um, uh, in the case of uh, the 2016 run of uh, uh, Senator Grace Poe, she was how you know yung ganun yun eh no uh, there are times sa parbang you get to a particular turning point nga tuloy-tuloy ang ano baba hindi hindi ka na makabawi no ganun din yan no so there are so many elements that come into a presidential lalo na presidential campaign that changes people's minds quickly no and then yun na hindi ka na makabawi no? yeah. so my other question is what do you think are the reasons for the switch of other supporters um, one, I think the 203 billion uh, estate tax uh, uh, issue, uh, which uh, Chairman Ernest and uh, the campaign team, uh, including uh, Mayor Isco, has been uh, has brought about or brought to the attention of the public. Even if the initial uh, um, study was done by. Uh, former associate, retired associate justice, uh, Antonio Carpio. Hindi naman kami nag-gumawa nun eh. No? I mean, we, we, we read it and we agreed with it. Then we sent uh, letters to BIR and to, to PCGG who uh, agreed with, uh, I mean, or who, who uh, conferred with uh, our uh, our statements. No? So, ibig sabihin, no? So, yun yung, yun yung nakikita natin ngayon. The other element that gusto ko lang i-follow through dito is, kasi right now, a lot of uh, people are saying dapat mag-unite ang, uh, ang uh, mga kandidatong kalaban ni Junior no? uh, para, para matalo si Junior. No? Uh, what you see in the data here is, yung boto ni uh, Isko ni Moreno, no, hindi pupunta kay Vice President Lenny. Yung boto niya, kung umatra siya, makipagsama, pupunta kay BBM or kay Marcos Jr. Uh, that, that, the bulk of it goes that way. No? Ganon din yung kay Pacquiao, no? ganon din yung kay Ping Lacson. No? Uh, because as we pointed out uh, in one of the, one of the charts, no? mukhang malakas ang non-preference for Vice President Lenny Robredo as against the preference for Mayor Isco. No, yung least disliked uh, candidate. Uh, to add sa sinabi ni Amba, no? so kung makikita nyo rito sa same chart, no? na if um, Lenny is the one who's going to withdraw, 51% of uh, her supporters are going to Mayor Isco. So while kung naman si Mayor Isco ang Panawagan nga nila is for, for him to withdraw, only 17% will go to Lenny. In fact, it will strengthen more the Marcos candidacy uh, as gleaned from this uh, survey. Next question, PT Bifal. Sir, uh, yung tungkol lang po sa sinabi ni Senator Ayn Marcos, tungkol po sa 200 billion, na wala po silang natanggap na mga um, uh, demands sa unpaid taxes. So, your reaction on that, no, sir? Um, one... Ignorance of the law does not excuse anyone. No? I mean, that, that, the mere fact na umabot sila sa Supreme Court, na Court of Appeal sila, then Supreme Court, alam nila na buhay yung kaso. Pangalawa, the, both, uh, I mean, the BII has already certified na they, they sent notices 
uh, the late last notice being December 2, 2021. So, paano naman hindi nila matatanggap? No? Eh, I mean, eh, obviously naman, may, meron, may address sila, no? O kung pinadala by registered mail, that is considered received once you receive, once there is a registered mail notice. Follow up question? Yeah. Ah. Um, so, so are you saying, sirs, that uh, if withdrawal yung strategy, in fact, the better withdrawal based on your data is not for for ISCO to withdraw, but for Lenny to withdraw because ISCO is able to capture more voters and is the least objectionable among all of them? Yes, and he is the second choice preference of all other candidates, whether it is Bongbong or Ping or 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 uh, Pacquiao or even Lenny herself. No. Are you making that call today? Is that a formal call? No, no, no. We, we cannot we cannot make that call. No? I'm just I'm just trying to explain. Na yung sinasabi na it's down to a a uh, two-way contest is absolutely false. No, it is a three-way contest. Uh, and then, I just noticed the date of the, the last Tanghir survey. It's April 6, the same day as Pulse Asia came out. Was this coincidence or was it time to appear with the Pulse Asia release? No, April uh, April 6 was when they brought out their March survey, which was, I think, March uh, 17 to... Yeah. Um, 17 ah, or, so April 6 is when they conducted. When they conducted it. Because ah. online, eh, mabilis. No? And uh, they explained to us that the reason they, they did this was they wanted to test yung impact nung debate. The last debate, which was April 3, if I'm not mistaken. April but, 3 by Sunday. But they decided to, to hold it on April 6. Not because Pulse Asia was released on that day. I mean, I just no, want to no, get no, that no. understanding. No, no, no. They, they, they wanted to test kung ano ang impact ng debate. And uh, it, you will notice that tumaas si, si Isko by 3 points, 3 percentage points yata. No? Uh, to two, point, two percentage points after the debate, no? Pero, yung kay Junior, ay, statistical tie naman yun, parang stable. Uh, in fact, um, if you look deeper at the data, two-thirds of uh, those who uh, voted or preferred uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. did not even bother to watch the debate. Kung basta ano, yun yung solid talaga, wala na silang pakialam, no matter what they will vote for him. No? I mean, that, that of course is, uh, is inference no? rather than uh, fact. No? So, yun yung ano. Uh, lumalabas, si Isko Moreno uh, did well during the debate and that's why he had a 2% increase on the basis of, kasi difference March 31 and April 6. Eh? One week lang na, na difference. Aside from the fact that uh, Pulse Asia uses subcontractors, what makes you think a mobile survey is more accurate than a face-to-face? -face? Change in voter preferences are, especially during the latter part of a campaign, is very important to take note of. Mabilis ang palita ng isip dyan. No? Yun yung alam namin latest. I, I do not know if other companies did a survey at about the same time. Next question from Raya Capullo. Hi, sir. Good morning. Hi. Sir, uh, sorry, just a clarification. Independent po itong group na ito, no one, but whose initiative is this? They, they do periodic surveys. Eh. Uh, kasi nga, I think they have a tie-up with Manila Bulletin. Uh, so they, I, I don't know when they're going mm -hmm. to bring this out sa Bulletin. We just uh, found out that they had and we asked that we be briefed. No, we, we be briefed. And they, they gave us this this briefing yesterday afternoon. Okay. Sir, sinabi niyo po kanina, and even po sa mga past interview ni Yorme, sabi niya, ang uh, tunay na labanan ay wala sa survey. So, ano po ngayon yung magiging, kumbaga nasa face-to-face -face yung pagpunta mismo doon sa lugar. And now, sir, ano po ngayon yung magiging relevance na nung survey niyo? Or... Well, the, the relevance of this, uh, well, of course, at the end of the day, lahat, lahat pinidesisyon na sa May 9, hindi naman ngayon. No? So what we're saying lang is, uh, yung frame na parang insurmountable na yung numbers ni Ferdinand Marcos Jr. As in, wala na, tapos na eleksyon. I mean, you've, you've seen 
you've uh, read and seen so many uh, commentators as well as columnists saying, tapos sa eleksyon, di ba? Panalo na si Marcos Jr. Or, the other contention being na dalawa na lang ang naglalaban, no? Uh, is belied by the numbers here. And th that's the same thing that we are seeing on the ground, on the field, no? Um, yun ding mga endorsements ng polit politicians, for instance, no? Uh, I just like you, I just like to remind you, no? That Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte hardly had any politician endorsing him until two weeks before the election. No? I mean, nung nakita na nila na talagang may, meron ng surge. No? At, the, at the beginning, all we had were the, peop, were the, can, were the politicians from Davao. Not, not, nobody else was, was with the Mayor Duterte nung umpisa. No? Eh, so, yung mga endorsement, endorsement ng politicians, uh, that, they do not really matter as much. No? Because at the end of the day, it's the voter no? in the secrecy of his... Uh, of the precinct who makes the decision. Next question. Uh, Sir Lito, meaning to say, uh, itong mga surveys na to is a mind conditioning po ba sa mga voters? Does this surveys dictate their decision making? Well, it depends kasi on the maturity of the electorate. Eh, no? uh, in, in more mature democracies, especially where you have a two-party system, which is why I keep hammering out the, the, the idiocy of this multi-party system in a presidential form of government. No? That, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, in more mature democracies and with an electorate that is more, more shall we say, more mature, no? uh, hindi na, na condition yung mind ng mga surveys. No? Uh, pero dito sa Pilipinas talaga, yung bandwagon effect, no? Uh, especially created by an early bandwagon effect, no? which is not normal in previous elections. Yung, kaya nga na sinasabi ko na posibleng nako-corrupt yung uh, field workers no? by a very moneyed candidate no? who can do it and who, who sees that if you create a bandwagon early enough, uh, the perception will be panalo na sila. And I, I dispute that. No? Last question. Maris. So, pardon me, uh, but I just have to ask this question. Um, so, having said that, don't you just give more credence to the Stangere survey just because it favors your candidate? Um, it's, it's not that um, we're giving it more credence because it favors my or our candidate. No, it's not that. It's because uh, the, the conditions or the political environment that we are uh, that we are in right now coming fresh from a pandemic as well as uh, reports reaching us na nakokorap nga yung yung nag yung numerators sa the numerators sa, sa field no uh, tend to show na parang kinokondisyon nga yung mining of certificates of candidacy I I tingnan niyo yung mga October September surveys Hindi ba noon nauuna si Sara at nag, nag na number two in some, some service, number two si Isko, number three si Bongbong or pag gano'n, no? Pero nakita nyo na nung pumasok si, si Sara, that's why it was very, very important for Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to inveigle Mayor Inday Sara to be his vice presidential candidate. Kasi yung Mindanao nag-swing eh. No? Admittedly, Mindanao is Duterte territory no? and parts of Visayas. So, nag-swing talaga yung kay Marcos eh. Whereas before, if you look at the surveys prior to the matchup, mababang mababa si Ferdinand Marcos Jr. sa Mindanao. Talagang yung pagkakakuha niya o pagkakapagpapayag niya kay uh, Mayor Inday Sara ang nagbigay sa kanya ng Mindanao. And that is seen in all the surveys. And when you mentioned a while ago, sir, that uh, somehow in the Pulse uh, Asia survey since uh, it is being subcontracted. Somehow, some questions are being skewed to favor certain candidates. How sure are you that in this particular but, survey in Tanghere, uh, questions are not skewed at all to influence uh, 
or to influence the the respondents to favor a certain candidate as well. Because ito, this is not done on a face-to-face -face basis. Eh. This is online. Eh. No, so quick, ano to, eh, Quick answers. It's uh, the horse race and quest Just a few questions, and that's it. No, so that that's the reason why uh, the numbers may have may have been quite different. And one last clarification, sir. Um, as compared to Tangre, where uh, the, the results show that um, the second preferred candidate is really uh, your may, or Mayor Escomoreno, as compared to uh, the polls, medyo malayo pang third po. No? Second, ang second preference is Lenny. How do we, okay. or at in, least, even in polls, the number even in polls, a second choice is always Isco. Oh, all right. from, from all all surveys, all companies, second choice si Isco. Ibig sabihin, mm -hmm. kung for one reason or not, hindi tumakbo o hindi natuloy yung pagtakbo ng second choice, per second choice preference, preference means. Okay. Thank you, sir. No more? Question? Thank you very much. Meron pa yung lunch dyan sa Media Center. Dati siyang, yung law firm, parang hindi, hindi na sila, yes, hindi na sila makapagsabi or kung makonfirm kung natanggap ba ng Sangi Mark. Kasama ka sa pag-unlad, darating ang bago.